For those of you who have been riding for a long time, you already kind of know that footwear is extremely important when it comes to both being comfortable on a bike and being safe. Uh, but uh, for those of you that are getting into riding, it might be kind of overwhelming in terms of the number of options that are available to you. So today I want to look at one of the most uh, popular styles of uh, motorcycle footwear that's out there. It's the riding shoe. It's basically designed to look like a sneaker, but it's been beefed up in every way to make sure that it's both more comfortable and more functional on the motorcycle. I want to start out by saying that Harley Davidson makes a pretty significant variety of shoes now, riding focused shoes all different types of designs, uh, different colors, but uh, they all, for the most part, have a pretty similar sole design here uh, that uh, I'll get some close-up shots for you. And uh, these are all built for the ride. Uh, and what Harley means by that when they say that is that uh, they're designed to have a lot more protection than a standard piece of footwear would have. Uh, and in addition, they're designed to hand up to the abuse of shifting uh, gears and uh, you know, applying brakes and uh, you know the extra abrasion resistance you might want from uh, the sole of a motorcycle boot, uh, something that you know obviously your average sneaker is not going to be built for. Today though we are taking a specific look at the Bateman Ankle Pro. Um, a lot of what I say about the Bateman is going to apply to the other shoes. Uh, I've got a couple other ones uh, on either side of me uh, here uh, that are very, very similar. And a lot of the stuff that I say about this is gonna be true of these, but some of it isn't. So you're gonna wanna read the specific description. If I don't have a review for the specific uh, riding shoe that you're looking at, um, take a look at Harley Davidson Footwear's product page for it. It's gonna give you sort of uh, bits and pieces that will fill in the information that I'm using to describe the Bateman. I do plan to do a number of shorter, maybe four to five minute uh, videos that take a look at the different uh, specific shoes, just so that we have uh, you know, obviously the most accurate potential information for you on each individual pair. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I just, there's a lot of different options. We don't stock every single option and um, it's just going to be difficult for me to make a video about every single one. So um, if you like the riding shoe, but maybe you want to go with a slightly different one than the, the Bateman Ankle Pro that we have here, just know that not everything that I say is going to apply to the other shoes, but a lot of the core things that I talk about will. So let's go ahead and dive right into the Bateman Ankle Pro. So this is a full grain leather construction uh, riding shoe. So uh, what that means is that the entire top portion of the shoe here is made of leather. And uh, of course, leather is going to offer a lot more protection than, you know, some sort of fabric like you would have on like a Chuck or a van, which we see. Uh, we see guys riding around in vans all the time or in chucks. And, uh, you know, this is going to give you sort of the look of a sneaker, but it's going to, because of its full grain leather construction, going to offer just significantly more protection. And in addition, because you've got additional uh, material here over the, uh, the toe, it's going to hold up a lot longer to just daily use. You know, I ride every single day. And uh, when I try to wear chucks or vans and ride, on a regular basis, not only is it not as safe as something like this, but they, those shoes just get destroyed. Uh, you know, the shifter toe, I'll, I'll quickly eat through the, the toe on my left side uh, shoe just from shifting. Uh, you know, my heels will start to get to wear down because those soles are really just not designed to be dragged across the pavement at any point in time. I mean, I don't spend a lot of time dragging my heels, but for some reason, I still notice that, uh, you know, the, the heels wear down a lot faster on those than they do on something like this. And so um, obviously the shoe's been designed around the idea that you're gonna be taking it out onto the highway. So as I mentioned, the sole of this shoe does have significantly more abrasion resistance than something like a, a regular sneaker has, um, which is gonna help obviously with longevity. It's gonna prevent the sole from wearing down as quickly. And then furthermore, it's gonna make sure that uh, in an accident that, you know, if you are sliding across the pavement, it's not gonna disintegrate away underneath your foot. Um, but uh, I think another key important to the sole of this shoe is that uh, it's anti-slip, so it's oil resistant. Uh, obviously, when you put your foot down at a stoplight, you want to know that your, your foot's not going to slide out from underneath you, or at least that you're going to have a lot less chance of that happening. Um, obviously, you know, you know, gravel might still get you, but uh, you know, oil is going to have a harder time causing you to slip with this. Uh, in addition, the sole is significantly stiffer than your standard sneaker. So uh, while it does flex and is comfortable for daily use, it's just going to provide a lot more protection uh, off the, you know, on the bike than a average sneaker sole would just because it's significantly stiffer. Um, and uh, in addition, that's going to feel a lot more comfortable on the pegs. If you do stand up on your pegs on a regular basis, this is going to be a lot more comfortable because uh, unlike a normal sole that's going to kind of flex around the pegs, 
Uh, this is going to spread out the, the weight of your body over the surface of the sole a lot better just because it's significantly more rigid than your standard sneaker is. The Bateman also comes with, at least the Ankle Pro Bateman, comes with an ankle protector here. Um, so one of the things that you really want to focus on when it comes to picking out motorcycle related uh, footwear is you want to make sure it comes up over the ankle. Um, one that's going to prevent or help resist uh, the urge of your your ankle to roll over in an accident. Uh, and the hard ankle protector in this uh, Bateman Ankle Pro is gonna add some extra protection in case something were to kind of run over your ankle, if the bike, bike were to tip over and fall on your ankle. Um, it's just gonna offer a lot more protection. It's pretty standard in uh, the world of motorcycle footwear, um, but when it comes to sneakers, it's something that is just not added to your average normal sneaker because you don't need ankle protection. Uh, on a normal sneaker, but uh, on a motorcycle sneaker, obviously it's, it's very nice to have. Speaking of the ankle protection, that is gonna be one of the things that does vary quite a bit from uh, riding shoe to riding shoe within Harley's lineup. And it's actually one of my main complaints about the Harley Davidson riding shoes is just that uh, you don't have that standard ankle protection across the entire range. Um, some of the shoes are significantly thinner uh, here. They do still feature full grain leather construction, but they don't have any additional padding, let alone the, the hard ankle protector insert that you have on the Bateman Ankle Pro. Um, you do have, for example, on uh, the, I believe this is the Midlands, um, you do have a, 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 a thick piece of almost like rubber or foam that I can feel around the ankle that provides some additional protection. Probably not as much as the hard insert of the Bateman Ankle Pro, um, but does provide some. Whereas on this shoe here, which is still one of Harley's riding shoes, uh, it features no ankle protection. So uh, you really are gonna wanna take a look at the product page of the specific uh, you know, boots that you're looking at because it's gonna let you know whether or not it features that ankle protection. Um, if it doesn't say it does, then it's safe to assume that it doesn't. Uh, I will try my best, like I said, to get out as many of these videos as I can because I think the Harley-Davidson riding shoes um, are actually, even if you're not into Harleys specifically, they're a really good option. I've tried um, riding shoes from uh, Dionysi. I've tried riding shoes from Speed and Strength. I've, uh, I ordered, is it, was it TCX or I can't remember the name of it. It's like a three letter uh, company there. They make mostly riding uh, shoes and boots. Um, of all sorts of different types. I've tried those as well. And um, honestly, for what you get in terms of what you pay um, and in terms of the style, I think that these are actually really compelling offers. And uh, for the most part, in fact, the Harley Davidson badging is very, very minimal. Um, you do have on the bottom of the shoe a, a Harley Davidson bar and shield, and then you'll have usually some sort of logo somewhere on the, the ankle, but it's usually gonna be covered by your pants. So, uh, or in, in the case of like this, it's monochromatic, where you know if you're riding down the freeway, no one's gonna be able to see this. Even if your ankle was exposed, um, they're not gonna be able to make out the HDMC logo on here. So, um, you know, and if you're looking for a stealth option, I mean, this is even more stealth. I mean, you've got the uh, just uh, sort of stamped bar and shield on, on this shoe here. So. Um, you know, it's a great option even for guys that don't necessarily ride Harleys. I, I uh, for the most part, commute on a lowrider S, but uh, oftentimes I'll take out one of my other bikes and I don't hesitate to throw on one of these uh, just because it doesn't really go with the bike that I'm riding. You know, these fit pretty much any style of bike. You know, this is gonna look good on a bagger, a sportster, Heck, you know, you could rock this on your sport bike. So um, that's another cool added piece of uh, uh, functionality for me is that I don't have to have a Harley boot and then a racing boot. Uh, it doesn't matter what I'm going to be, you know, where I'm going, this is going to work. Uh, and it's really nice. It looks good on and off the bike. It doesn't look like I'm wearing motorcycle, you know, specific gear other than, of course, you do have the additional toe protector on the Bateman Ankle Pro, but not every single Harley uh, riding shoe does have that. So some of them are even more incognito. Than, uh, than the Bateman Ankle Pro is. So that's just a big selling point for me is that you can wear these on and off the bike. So I always like to talk about safety and durability. I covered a lot of the safety in terms of the sole being significantly stiffer, the full grain leather construction, and the ankle protector that the Bateman Pro teach, uh, features. But uh, what I didn't talk about is durability. Obviously when you're buying a riding boot or a riding shoe, you expect it to hold up to the abuse of riding every single day. Um, and uh, I've owned probably five or six different pairs of these at this point. And uh, honestly, the durability is excellent. Um, you know, I haven't found uh, any kind of uh, cracking along the, the, the seams where uh, I would typically expect it from flex. I oftentimes, especially on my sneakers, I'll have a separation between the sole of the shoe and the 
and the carcass of the shoe itself. Uh, and the, uh, you know, especially where the crease begins to happen when you're using the shoe every single day, running in the shoe, walking in the shoe. I haven't found that to be uh, a big problem on these. I don't really get much separation there, which is really usually the first place that I start to notice issues. Um, the other place I tend to notice issues for me on normal shoes and even boots is I'll start to see the heel start to wear down over time. And uh, after five or six months of wearing a pair of these every single day, not exactly the Bateman Ankle Pro, but the same exact sole, uh, as you can see, they're pretty much shared across all the different riding sneakers. It was hard to tell that it was worn um, unless I had taken a side-by-side -side photo of it before and after, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Uh, the leather definitely ages and wears, but I haven't had any rips or tears. Um, I've tested out the waterproofing on some of the models that are listed waterproofing. I had actually this exact pair, but in gray, and I wore them in the rain multiple times and uh, never had any issues. I was wearing water pants over, uh, or waterproof pants over my, my jeans which came down over my ankle uh, and uh, they, they held up. I didn't get uh, any water in my, my boots and it wasn't in the rain for hours and hours, but it was a good 45 minute ride in the rain and uh, it, was, it was really coming down, which is unusual for California, uh, but it was nice because I got to test it and uh, didn't really notice any issues. So uh, it, I haven't uh, tried the non-waterproof uh, ones in the rain. They are full grain leather, so I imagine they would be pretty water resistant for you know, uh, a good 15 to 20 minutes if you did get uh, caught in a, a stretch of rain. And Harley does offer some leather protectant that adds some waterproofing to it so you could rejuvenate that characteristic that just is natural to uh, the type of leathers that are used. Um, but overall, was really happy with the waterproofing and the longevity of the shoes. I pretty much, I know I've said I've owned five of them. It hasn't been because I've worn through any of them. It's really just because they come out with a new style that I like and you know the surface is a little bit worn or the, the soles are a little bit dirty. And so I decided to get a new pair because I see them and I'm a compulsive shopper. So um, it's not because they haven't held up. Uh, the one thing that, that hasn't held up over the course of, of uh, ownership has been the laces. Uh, I don't think it's because of the kind of laces that are being used. I just think it's because if you wear a boot every single day for six months straight, you're probably going to wear through some laces. The cool thing is that on most of them, Harley includes a second pair of laces in the box. So um, you know, I can't really complain too much when they give you a, a second pair. Sometimes it's a different contrasting color. So on, on a lot of the boots that come with the reflective laces like you see here, they'll include in the box um, a, uh, a set of white laces, or if they do kind of a, a, a accent uh, lace color like you can see on the Bateman Ankle Pro here uh, in red, they'll it usually include some, some sort of uh, less over the top, less uh, loud and shouty lace color. So I believe the Bateman Ankle Pro comes with a set of brown laces in the box as well, if that's more your style. So one last thing I always like to talk about is who I think this is for. Um, if you're a daily rider, you know, and you don't want to bother with putting on boots every single day, or you're running around a dealership like I am, or an office, or uh, you know, you're just in a situation where you don't want to have to change shoes when you get to work and put on something that's gonna be more comfortable walk around, uh, but you don't want to sacrifice all protection and go for uh, you know just riding in, in sneakers, then these kind of riding shoes are a really good option. They're gonna offer significantly more protection and longevity than a sneaker will, but you can wear them on and off the bike. You're not hassling with them. It doesn't look like you're wearing boots. Um, you know, it just looks like you're wearing a pair of sneakers, but uh, that are a slightly beefier and are gonna offer you a lot more protection if you were to go down. In addition, like I mentioned before, not only do they offer more protection, but they offer a lot more comfort. You know, that thicker sole, while it is more protective, it also means if you end up standing up on the pegs, you feel less pressure in the center of your foot or on the ball of your feet, wherever you're standing up on the pegs. Um, you know, you've got the oil resistant, uh, uh, you know, anti-slip sole that's gonna give you a lot more confidence when you put your feet down. Full leather construction means you're not gonna feel any kind of rocks hitting your feet. Uh, you know, they're gonna bounce off. Uh, and so it's gonna be more comfortable in that regard. And then of course you got waterproofing. So if you do get uh, caught in the rain, you're gonna be much more likely to arrive to your destination without wet feet. So there's a lot of benefits beyond just the safety of wearing a riding shoe 
uh, or riding boot over just a normal pair of sneakers. Finally, I do like to talk about the warranty on these. Uh, all HD footwear comes with a one year warranty. I've had to use it once before on a pair of actually sneakers that I bought from, uh, from them. I had some separation on the sole and no questions asked, I got a new pair. So um, it's cool to see that uh, because if you do have an issue for whatever reason, it's, like, it's nice to know that you're gonna be taken care of. I do wanna comment on sizing briefly. I will say that these all, for all the ones I've ever tried on, run at least a size large. And I don't know if that's because I've always worn the wrong size shoes or something, but I've, I've never had issues getting shoes to fit me properly, or at least, I mean, maybe a half size wrong, you know, is, is if I try something on from a new brand that I haven't tried before. These consistently have been a full size too big. So I normally wear a nine and a half. I typically in these wear an eight and a half. Matt's tried on uh, some shoes as well from them. He typically, I think, wears like a 13 or something, and he's a 12 in these. And uh, Andrew, my other coworker and one of our salesmen here, uh, was the same thing. He was a size too large when he ordered uh, some uh, off the internet. He hadn't, because I don't know why he hadn't tried them on, but he hadn't tried them on, even though we have a whole variety of ones he could have tried on here. Um, I'm just gonna call him dumb. So do keep that in mind when you are shopping. If you don't have an opportunity to try one on, I would say, probably order a half size or a size smaller than you typically would wear. Um, unless you already know uh, that with HD footwear, you know your size is a nine, then you know maybe a half size or just order a size uh, of another pair of HD boots that you have. That's a better chance of fitting. Um, but specifically the shoes, on, in my experience, are a half size to a size larger than you would expect. So uh, definitely order a slightly smaller size. In the future, I, I have a couple other videos that are kind of already uh, lined up, but if there's something else you want me to take a look at, please do write down in the comment section what that is, and uh, I'll try to get a video of it out as soon as I can. Um, so go ahead and like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch, and uh, I'll see you next week.